Hey guys, welcome back to Radical Wilderness. Mike here, I got Kenzo Doggo with me, and we are back at it again, guys. This time we're gonna do a solo overnight hot tent camping adventure right here in this spot. We got the river right behind me. Uh, it is now four o'clock, so we only got like maybe an hour, hour and a half to two hours, somewhere in there uh, of daylight left. So we got a few chores to do, and we gotta do it pretty quick uh, before the sun goes down, so, and we have no daylight, so. First things first, I'm not even gonna go through the contents of my bag, I'm just gonna get right to it. So I'm gonna set up the tent, uh, most likely um, somewhere in this general vicinity. I, I gotta figure that out. But I got a Pamali Leo 2 hot tent, and then I have a Dangel outdoor stove. So I gotta get the uh, tent set up, assemble the stove, throw up the chimney, and uh, go from there, guys. So for tonight, I got a steak, a nice T-bone steak, and I got a few craft beers, looking forward to trying them. Uh, I'll probably crack one open as I'm doing my chores. So uh, let's get to it, guys.
All right, hey guys, just checking in with you. So it is now exactly seven o'clock. Uh, took our time getting everything established, but at this point, camp is fully established. So uh, I got my firewood here, and um, I actually brought some of that in. There are a few pieces that uh, I did process. I do need to still collect up some uh, kindling, actually, um, to get this fire going, some tinder and kindling, but uh, that shouldn't take long. There's a, there's a ton of sticks laying all over the ground i'll just collect all that up and throw it in there and we'll get a fire going but first i said i was going to grab a beer and um do that while i was doing my chores however i did not because i just got so busy so it is time guys so this here is the uh virginia beer company uh it's called purple glow gang and it is a sour ale so boysenberry marionberry and black currant sour ale and I believe it is a 6.5. Yep. So that's about it. Let's try it. Ooh, that looks good. Ooh, that's a sour ale. That's really good. I enjoy that. That's awesome, guys. Mmm. Yeah, that's really good. I wish I'd have gotten two of these. Anyways, I got three others, and uh, I'll check in with you guys here in a little bit uh, after I get the fire going. So I'll see you then. <clears throat>
All right, hey guys, just checking in with you. So um, I'm about to get that steak on. I am pretty excited. I'm really hungry right now. Uh, Kinzo already ate, but I have not, and I'm pretty hungry. But before that, I'm going to go ahead and indulge. So I finished that sour, and I absolutely loved it. It was amazing, guys. So I got the syndicate here. That's a cryo mosaic. Uh, Styr Styrian? Styr I don't know. Cardinal and... Uh, Grungeist, <laughs> two row malt, and oats and wheat. Uh, this is Commonwealth Brewing Company Syndicate. It is a 8.7. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. Let me zip this up real quick. So as of right now, I already got the potatoes done, and I got uh, I cooked up some mushrooms to go with the steak. Threw some uh, wine in there. Took a little thing of wine today and threw it in there and so I'd have it for my I, I'm gonna put it on my uh, steak as well so cook it with the steak but anyways cheers that's pretty good it's a double IPA cryo mosaic styrian cardinal and cardinal and grungeist <laughs> two roll malt and oats and wheat yeah it's not too bad I like it it's got a like a Japanese style um, demon face in the background it's pretty cool looking but all right let's get that steak on guys I am starving there we go that butter going melting all over there we go that's what I'm talking about guys boom perfect all right let me season that up actually I am not on my game today, guys. I don't know what it is. Just getting out here late. Had a bunch of chores and errands to run today. Um, just to get out here. I don't know. It is what it is. I'm enjoying myself, but I definitely wish I'd have gotten out here a little bit earlier than 4 o'clock or 3 o'clock, whatever it was. That was terrible. But we're having a good time. Kinzo is a little bit bored, but he'll get plenty of playtime tomorrow. So we actually did a, a little bit of exploring before we came out here too. That's part of my excuse. So I've been checking out a lot of new places, trying to find places to camp and stuff. Um, and on my way out here, we stopped at a couple places, walked around, checked things out. Kendo, Kinzo got a lot of playtime then, just running around playing fetch as we're checking things out. And uh, all in all, it was good. Just probably took too long while doing it and uh, got out here late. So it is what it is, guys. But good thing is I got some good beer and I got a good steak and I'm ready to eat, guys. So I will check in with you guys when this is all done and ready to go. And uh, I'll see you then. It is time to eat, guys. Oh boy. Look at that. Woo -wee. That is looking really good. That is looking good. Alright. So got my beer, got my steak, and right here, I'm gonna throw these mushrooms right in here. Uh, right next to it. Got some mushrooms, some potatoes. I'm gonna throw these potatoes on first. Oh yeah, 
That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Look at that. Jeez. Yes. For the mushrooms, just add those right there. Get my little lantern here, just for the ambiance. <laughs> All right. All right. So I got some uh, some horseradish here too. I'm gonna throw that right on the side. Actually, I'm just gonna cover it in it. <laughs> All right, guys. Porterhouse steak, um, potatoes, and mushrooms. Let's try it out. Mm. Kenzo looks pretty interested. Mmm. Piece of gristle, buddy. Oh, he dropped it. It's good, guys. Very, very good. I'm very hungry, too. I might have overcooked it a little bit, but honestly, at this point, I, re <laughs> I really don't care. I'm so hungry. Mmm. Just throw that horse fry. Mm hmm. Mmm. I'm thankful guys, very thankful. Mm. All those potatoes turned out amazing. Yep. So good. Try some of these mushrooms. Pretty good guys, very, very satisfied. Very satisfied. Anyways, cheers. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna obviously do what I always do. I'm gonna finish up my dinner, and I will check in with you guys afterwards. See you then. All right, hey guys, just checking in with you. We, uh, I finished up dinner and uh, stoked the fire, got that going. And uh, for now, I think we're just gonna hang out, do what we always do, relax and uh, enjoy the night. So it is now currently, it's 9.30. So it is uh, a lot later than I was expecting and uh, I am feeling it. I'm pretty tired, guys. Um, I think Kenzo is too. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna hang out relax and enjoy the night guys and uh, just enjoy the ambiance and uh, Probably just finish this beer and call it a night. So I'll check in with you guys when it's time to say good night. We'll see you then
Hey guys, it has been a couple hours. We've just been kind of hanging out, doing what we always do, and uh, just really enjoying the night, guys. It's been a very peaceful, quiet night, and uh, we definitely enjoyed it. Played a little bit of fetch with Kenzo, and uh, just just enjoy the ambiance. Just being out here is uh, it's amazing, guys. It's very relaxing and therapeutic. So. Um, yeah, all in all, it's been a great night. So, it is now, it's 11.30. So, I'm surprised we stayed up as long as we did. But, uh, it is definitely time for bed. And, uh, we will be catching up with you guys in the morning. So, good night, guys. We'll see you in the morning.
Hey, good morning, guys. I gotta say, it's a beautiful morning. Woke up uh, expecting it to be totally overcast and uh, woke up with some sun reflecting off the water over there on the river and uh, gotta say, I was pretty surprised. So overall, it's been a good morning. Um, it is now nine o'clock and uh, we kind of just got up, moseyed around, took care of our business, got the fire going in the, uh, in the stove here and uh, made some coffee. Cheers, by the way. Made it really, really hot, so I had to let it sit down for a while, cool off, but now it's it's right where it needs to be. So, as of now, uh, not a whole lot to do. I think uh, I do need to go actually and get some firewood, process some firewood so I can get breakfast going. I just had a little bit of stuff that I picked up around here. I pretty much burned all my firewood last night uh, with that, right before I went to bed, I stoked a fire um and uh it it was great i gotta say super comfortable last night nice and cozy uh great sleeping sleeping bag um i got a what is it snug pack extreme sleeper so it's rated down to 19 degrees which is uh definitely not needed here uh but i definitely slept really well i slept hard guys i was i was in a deep sleep last night i was super tired um, needless to say, that's why I didn't get up super early this morning. So anyways, uh, and then I also got a new sleeping pad. So I really enjoyed that with the fire, with the stove. Uh, again, it was just super cozy, super comfortable, and it was all in all a good night. So anyways, uh, for now, I am going to go ahead and, uh, go collect some firewood. Like I said, I'm going to process that and then I'll get the uh, breakfast going. So for breakfast, I got bacon and eggs, classic. And uh, yeah, looking forward to it, guys. Pretty hungry. So I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Cheers.
All right, guys, breakfast is on. Bacon and eggs, baby. So, let's try it out. Mmm. Perfect. Pretty hungry, guys. Can't go wrong with bacon and eggs. Try this bacon. Somewhat crispy. I like that. Mmm. Nice and crispy. That's perfect. <laughs> you staring at the bacon, buddy? You want a piece? Come here. Mmm. That's good, huh? Here. Go lay down. Lay down. Lay down. All right guys, so it is, it's 10 o'clock and uh, just now eating breakfast. So a little bit, a little bit behind schedule uh, compared to other videos, but honestly, I'm not too worried about it. I have literally nothing else to do today and nothing really on the agenda. I'm just gonna hang out, have a good time, spend some time with Kinzo. I owe him a little bit of play time, obviously. Didn't really get to play too much fetch last night, but uh, it would be good to, spend some time playing fetch with Kinzo so um, other than that I'm probably just gonna kind of wander around just do a little exploring and uh, just enjoy being out here so uh, other than that I'm gonna finish my uh, my breakfast and I'll check in with you guys afterwards cheers mm. that is good buddy that is so good There you go. All right, hey guys, just checking in with you. So finished up breakfast, uh, took a little walk around, just did a little exploring, playing with Kenzo, and uh, just had a good time for about an hour or so. Um, cleaned up, obviously. Uh, but it is now time for a beer, and I saved one of those special beers for today. And I'm gonna go ahead and crack that open. So. This is the uh, Check the te Technique double IPA with Super Delic and Nelson Sauvin. It's an 8.3. <laughs> I don't know what any of that meant with Super Delic and Nelson Sauvin. I don't. <laughs> Anyways, uh, looks pretty cool. Uh, it's from Commonwealth Brewing Company. And yeah. I'll show you guys. Boom. Check the technique. Double IPA. Alright, so let's crack that open. Okay. It's uh yeah, Commonwealth Brewing Company, Virginia Beach, Cal uh Virginia Beach, Virginia. Hmm. It's pretty good. I dig it. Not too bad. Anyways, so again, nothing really on the agenda. Just gonna hang out. I'm gonna drink this beer, probably play some more fetch with Kinzo and just enjoy the day. So um, I did bring some homemade stew that my wife made and I might heat that up later. So I am gonna keep the stove going. Um, 
and it's I just uh, I just fed the fire so I got a little bit of firewood left right over here so I got enough to last for a while to be able to cook up the uh, stew later on so but anyways for now I'm gonna enjoy this beer so cheers mm. that's right buddy so I'll check in with you guys in a little bit over a log. He just tripped, didn't ya? Goofy. Goofy dog. Hey everyone, just checking in with you. So it's been a couple hours, just kind of moseyed around, having a good time this morning. It is now, uh, it's like quarter after two right now. So it's been a great day, just hanging out, relaxing, just really just relaxing. Just honestly, uh, today has been such a relaxing day and uh, it's been very enjoyable. Uh, played a lot of fetch this morning with Kenzo. Uh, now. I'm getting a late lunch here. I got the uh, the stew cooking on here, and uh, looking forward to eating that up. I'm getting pretty hungry, so uh, Kenzo just ate, and I think uh, it's my turn. So, anyways, guys, uh, not a whole lot going on. Uh, just a lot of a lot of beautiful scenery out here. I know it, it did actually end up turning overcast today, and uh, it is a little bit breezy, which is nice. Um, but it's been very enjoyable. It's very relaxing, like I said. Just very nice to be out here. So uh, for now, I'm just gonna wait for this to heat up and then uh, we'll eat up the uh, stew here. And then I'll probably start packing up, guys. And uh, we'll be getting on out of here in a little while. So anyways, cheers. I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Look at that. 
if you guys can see that. Don't really want to tip it too much, but yeah, that's that's my wife's stew right there. And I'm pretty happy with it, pretty satisfied. All heated up and ready to eat, so it is pretty warm actually. It's nice and hot. Oh boy. Mmm. So good. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Good old beef stew. Mm. Alright, so, as always, I'm going to eat my food, and then I will check in with you afterwards. Mmm. That's good. Cheers. All right, hey guys, just checking in with you. So I'm gonna start packing up here. I already took a couple things back to the car. Um, Kenzo's been wandering around for a while trying to find his ball. He uh, he took it back to the car with him and he left it there, but he uh, he's wandering around here as if he's gonna find it here. So it's been pretty entertaining for the last five, 10 minutes. But uh, anyways, like I said, I'm gonna start packing up. I'm gonna get all this uh, packed up and then I'll check in with you guys afterwards. I'll see you then. Hey guys, so we're all packed up, we're ready to go. I uh, just gotta say, it's been a really fun trip, very relaxing, and it was nice to get out here and do it for you guys, so can't wait to do it again. Um, I also gotta say thank you for watching Radical Wilderness. Make sure you hit like, hit subscribe, and uh, we'll be back again, guys. We're getting out of here. Later. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. Let's go, kid.